Hello, friends. Today is the video of breed. I actually didn't know it was breed. After reading some materials, I see that breed is a multifunction bootloader. You might be wondering what is bootloader. Bootloader is the first thing to run when you start up the router. After bootloader is started, it will load the operating system into memory. When the router is off, there is no data in memory. All data is stored in the flash chip. But after the router is powered on, all data will be loaded into memory from the flash storage. I have another video talking about how the router starts up. If you don't know what's bootloader, what's memory, what's flash chip, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and check that video. OK, let's get back to the topic. Breed is a special bootloader. It not only loads the operating system, it also has a web console. We can log into the Breed web console to install firmware, or do some configurations, or do some backups. The Breed web console is all in Chinese language, because the developer is a Chinese man, a smart Chinese man. You need to learn some Chinese language to use Breed. I'm not sure if there will be an English version in the future, so learning Chinese is so important. You know, on Mi Wi-Fi router, there is a reset button, right? It's just on the back side or bottom. Very easy to find. You can just keep pressing on the reset button, then plug in the power cable, then the router will put into a recovery mode. The recovery mode is very important. You can upload a stock firmware in the recovery mode, restore the device to the original state. But if you install Breed on your router, you will no longer be able to boot into the recovery mode. That is because its space is taken by Breed. The Breed web console would be your new recovery mode. After we boot into the Breed web console, the router operating system won't be loaded. Now we can do some modifications, such as writing firmware into the flash storage. All the files of the bootloader are on the flash chip. There are some partitions on the flash chip, such as bootloader partition, NVRAM partition, firmware partition. To install Breed, we need to write the Breed image into the bootloader partition. There are two ways to write the image. The first would be using a serial console to write. I'm not going to talk about that today because I don't want to open the router's case yet. The other way is getting into the stock firmware by Telnet or SSH, then use the mtd command to write the breed image into the bootloader partition. That is what I'm going to do today. I assume that you know what is SSH, what is Telnet. If you don't know what is SSH yet, then this video is not suitable for you. SSH or Telnet access is not available by default. We need to find a solution to get into the device. It's very easy to get the telnet access of the device with the OpenWRT Invasion script. Just connect the router to the internet, then connect the laptop to the router. Download the OpenWRT Invasion script from GitHub. Run the script. It will ask for a token. The token is in the address bar of the administration webpage. Give it the token to get authorized. Then the router will download BusyBox from the internet and start a telnet daemon. Then we are in. It's very simple if you have some knowledge of Python. If you don't know what is Python, if you feel the OpenWRT Invasion script is so difficult, you can also try to request the SSH access. For me, Wi-Fi Router 3G, we can request the SSH access from the manufacturer. You need to have an account to do the request, all right? Register with your phone number or register with your email. Then link the device with your account. To link the device, we need to download the Wi-Fi control app. 
Install the app on your phone or laptop. Log in with the account. Search for nearby routers. Give the router's administration password to the app to link the router to the account. After the router is linked, go to the manufacturer's website. You will see the device is listed on the web page. The manufacturer will give a package to unlock SSH along with the root password. Download the package. We'll use the package to unlock SSH. Also, download the developer version of stock firmware. But why need to install a developer version firmware? Maybe they only allow developers to use SSH? Maybe they think if you can install a developer's firmware, then you are a developer? I think I'm having a challenge now. The developer firmware can't be downloaded from this link. Fortunately, our friend has found the problem and uh, there's a workaround. Just to replace the server address in the link with the new CDN address, then we can download the file. Maybe this problem is just the small challenge they prepare for you. They are trying to see if you are a real developer. If you can't solve the problem, if you can't download the firmware, then you are not a developer. You don't have the ability to use the SSH. Don't even bother to download the developer's firmware. You will break the router. Maybe that is what they think. OK, let's continue. Now we have the developer firmware downloaded. Log in the router's administration web page. Click the Upgrade button. Upgrade the stock firmware to the developer version. Now we have the developer firmware installed. We have the root password. We have the unlock package downloaded. It's time to boot into the recovery mode to unlock SSH. Now we need a USB drive. Format it to FAT32. Put the unlock package into the drive, then plug it into the router. Remember the recovery mode I told you earlier? Find a small pin, keep pressing on the reset button, plug in the power cable. After the orange LED starts blinking, we are in the recovery mode. Now it's safe to release the reset button. The recovery mode will read the file from the USB drive and load it into the flash storage. Then the router will reboot. SSH would be unlocked after it starts up. Ah, shiba. It's so complicated. I really hope there's an easier way to unlock SSH. But anyway, we can SSH into the device and start the MTD command now. The Breed supports lots of devices, including R3G. I will just download the one for R3G. Copy it to the router with the SCP command. You know what is SCP, right? All developers know SCP. It's short for Super Copy or Secure Copy. If you don't know SCP, you can also copy the breed image with the USB drive. Uh, 
I'm not so sure where the USB drive is mounted. Okay, it's here. Before doing anything, remember to do a backup first, just in case the EEP room is erased. The R3G device runs on MTD file system. MTD is short for Memory Technology Device. When the router is started, all the files will be copied into memory from the flash storage. Then we do all the reads and writes in the memory. All the directories we see, all the files we see are in the memory. Now, use the MTD command to write the breed image into the flash chip. There are multiple partitions on the flash chip. Write it into the bootloader partition to replace the old one. OK, the job is finished. Now we have Breed installed in the bootloader partition. Just press the reset button and reboot. We will boot into the Breed web console. The Breed Web Console has an IP address 192.168.1.1. Make sure you can open the Breed Web Console. See, it's in Chinese. I want to install Padawan firmware. I just open this link. Upload the image. Then a few minutes later, Padawan would be up and running. So convenient. Although we cannot install OpenWRT with Breed, we can still install some other firmwares. I have several Wi-Fi routers. Most of them are supported by Breed. You might be wondering why I didn't install Breed on those devices. And here's the reason. First. The bootloaders or some devices are already good enough, such as Mi Wi-Fi Nano. I don't really need Breed on those devices. And second, some routers are not supported, such as Mi Wi-Fi Router 3 and AX1800. It's not possible to install Breed on those unsupported devices. And third, the Redmi AC2100 may have bad blocks. Also, there is a compatible version of Breed. I'm still not sure if it is safe to install Breed, so I just installed Breed on R3G until now. Because R3G doesn't have a good bootloader, its stock bootloader doesn't provide the recovery function. Breed is much better. With Breed, we can easily install Padawan or Asus WRT. No trouble at all. If you want to watch more videos about me Wi-Fi routers, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will do more videos show you how to install third-party firmware on the router. Hope you could enjoy. Bye-bye.